We are in a pandemic. But you know what? We're going to make it. We're going to make it when this county of Amherst comes together and stops putting people down and say, what can I do to help you? What can I do? Well, keep your child at home when they're sick. Number one. I mean, just stay home. Get the books out and study. Do the best you can until we get back. But it's going to take a village to get us out of this. I know all about the data. I know all about the policies. But I'm more concerned to get these kids back in school but to get them back in that safety. The Delta variant, what they're finding is you produce three times as much of the virus. So you're, you're three times more contagious because your body produces more of the virus that's in your system. So as a, as a, a result of that is you're more, ta we're more contagious when you are around people. And this is spread more through uh, aerosol, through your breathing and so forth as well. So it's when you're breathing on people, okay. um, things like that is how it's spread. But last year our worst day was like four. If we had four or five cases a day, that was a bad day. And that was in January, late December into January is when we were, had those numbers. Um, and that was, a, you know, it was a bad day for us. This year, you know, the first day of school, we didn't have any. The second day of school, we had one. And since then, we've been above four almost every, every day we've had students in school. Um, our worst day was 20-some cases in one day um, we're, we're, by the time we closed down. So, I mean, last year, again, we had 100 cases throughout the whole school year. From, and then we started middle of September last year, and we ended up in the middle of June. And uh, our, we had 100 cases. Um, we've already had over 200 cases this year. The biggest thing I could ask our community to do is, again, to monitor their symptoms. If they're having symptoms, stay home. If they've been exposed to somebody who's positive or is having symptoms, I would ask them to stay home and contact their health care provider and get guidance. Um, if they're symptomatic, you know, talk to your doctor, see if you can get a, a rapid test or a PCR test just to make sure. But the biggest thing we're having is students you're contagious two days prior to symptoms, so it's just even worse. So you might not even know you have it, but if you've been at home with somebody who has it or is showing symptoms, you've been exposed to it. And uh, so that's part of the issue we're facing is um, if you start having symptoms or you're around somebody who's having symptoms or is positive, we need you to stay home.